Under the cold, fluorescent lights of massive Russian aircraft hangar, a group of engineers moves with silent precision. They weave around the angular silhouette of a jet unlike anything the world has yet seen. Its dark gray surface gleams with freshly machined panels, its edges razor sharp, its body sculpted to swallow radar waves. Every contour, every rivet, every shadow on this aircraft tells the same story, stealth, power, and ambition. This isn't just another fighter jet. It's Russia's long-promised answer to the Western monopoly on fifth-generation air power, the Su-75 Checkmate. And now, after years of rumors, mock-ups, and speculation, Moscow claims it's finally making the leap from design blueprints to real-world production. But what makes this jet such a big deal? Why has it captured the world's attention? And most importantly, can it really challenge America's legendary F-35? Let's dive deep into the story of Russia's new stealth predator. From concept to reality, according to multiple defense reports from both Russian and international sources, the United Aircraft Corporation, under the leadership of Sukhoi, has already begun assembling the very first prototype of the Su-75 at its advanced production facility in Komsomolsk on Amor, the same legendary factory responsible for building the Su-57 Felon. If all goes according to plan, the company expects to roll out its first complete prototype in 2025, followed soon after by the beginning of flight testing. The project, known internally as Checkmate, was officially unveiled in 2021 at the MAX Air Show, introduced as a lighter, cheaper, and export-friendly sibling to the twin-engined Su-57. Since then, Russia has marketed it as an affordable fifth-generation stealth fighter designed for nations that dream of advanced air power but can't afford Western jets. Design and Capabilities Unlike the twin-engine giants that came before it, the Su-75 is built around a single-engine layout, giving it a sleek and compact airframe. Its designers focused on keeping radar visibility to a minimum. That means internal weapons bays, carefully angled surfaces, and minimal heat signatures. It's crafted to handle both air superiority and ground attack missions, boasting high agility and a drastically reduced radar cross-section. According to early technical data, the Checkmate can reach speeds of up to Mach 1.8 while carrying a range of advanced guided missiles, many of which are shared with the Su-57. This combination of speed, stealth, and firepower aims to give Russia a flexible fighter capable of confronting a variety of modern threats. Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate Rostec claims that the Checkmate will be equipped with cutting-edge avionics artificial intelligence-assisted targeting systems, and low-cost maintenance requirements, making it far more accessible than the current generation of stealth jets. Its estimated price? Somewhere between 25 and 30 million US dollars per unit, a staggering contrast to the F-35, which often exceeds 80 million dollars. If the timeline holds, Russia could begin limited production of the Su-75 by 2026 or 2027, a remarkable achievement for a nation facing economic pressure and sanctions. For Moscow, this isn't just about producing a new fighter jet. It's a message to the world. Russia can still innovate under pressure. A smaller brother to the Su-57. At first glance, the Su-75 looks like a smaller, sleeker sibling of the Su-57 Felon. Both share the same DNA of stealth design angular lines, hidden weapons bays, and radar-absorbing materials. But underneath the surface, their philosophies are very different. The Su-57 is a heavyweight, a twin-engined, long-range, multi-role fighter built for total air dominance. It's designed to go head-to-head -head with the America's F-22 Raptor, carrying large payloads and performing extreme maneuvers thanks to its thrust-vectoring engines. The Su-75, however, targets a different goal. It aims to balance advanced technology with affordability. It's lighter, smaller, and powered by a single Isdali-30 engine, 
the same engine planned for upgraded SU-57 variants. This decision dramatically reduces cost and simplifies maintenance while retaining much of the stealth performance. The SU-75 also adopts modular systems, allowing for easy repairs and quick customization depending on the buyer's needs, an attractive feature for export clients. Rostec officials emphasize that the Checkmate borrows much of the technology from the SU-57, from radar-absorbing coatings to flight control algorithms, all packaged into a streamlined, export-ready platform. Its mission is simple, deliver stealth capabilities without the overwhelming financial burden of a twin-engine stealth fighter. Still, the question lingers, will the Checkmate's promises match its real-world performance? The global competition. From the very beginning, Russia marketed the Su-75 as a direct challenger to the American F-35 Lightning II. That's an incredibly bold statement, considering the F-35's unmatched global production network, decades of testing, and billions invested in its development. However, defense analysts argue that the Checkmate's true strength may not lie in defeating the F-35 on the battlefield, but in strategic positioning. If Russia delivers on its promises, the Su-75 could become the world's first affordable stealth fighter, combining AI-driven targeting, modular systems, and low operational costs. That formula could attract enormous interest from countries like the United Arab Emirates, Vietnam, India, and several African nations, states eager for fifth-generation technology but unable or unwilling to depend on Western defense deals. Yet, despite its potential, Western experts remain cautious. Russia's defense industry faces serious challenges — economic sanctions, restricted access to microelectronics, and logistical disruptions caused by the ongoing war in Ukraine. These issues could delay production and limit the aircraft's sophistication. But even partial success would be significant. A functional, exportable Su-75 could reshape global arms markets, giving Russia a new powerful foothold in regions where Western and Chinese manufacturers have dominated. Moreover, it might push competitors to rethink their pricing and technology sharing policies, potentially sparking a new round of global arms competition. Technology and Symbolism from a purely technical standpoint, the Su-75 prioritizes stealth efficiency over brute power. Its single-engine setup means it won't match the raw thrust or range of the Su-57 or F-35, but it offers major advantages in cost, simplicity, and stealth signature reduction. Its internal weapon bays, compact air intake design, and digital cockpit all point toward a fighter optimized for survival in modern sensor-heavy battlefields. The onboard AI co-pilot system is expected to provide pilots with real-time situational awareness, assisting in target identification, threat analysis, and flight path optimization during combat. In many ways, the Checkmate represents more than just a new aircraft. It's a symbolic statement. At a time when Russia's defense industry is under unprecedented strain, launching the production of a new stealth jet signals more than technological ambition. It's a declaration of resilience. The Su-75 is Moscow's way of saying, even under sanctions, isolation, and war, Russia still builds cutting-edge machines. A new chapter for Russian air power. Domestically, the Su-75 serves as a morale booster, a reminder to the Russian people that their country remains a major player in aerospace innovation. Internationally, it could reshape Russia's defense diplomacy, if it achieves full export readiness, the Checkmate might open new defense partnerships across Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America, expanding Moscow's influence and challenging Western dominance in emerging markets. Whether the Su-75 lives up to its bold claims or not, one thing is certain. Its emergence has already changed the conversation. It's forced the world to pay attention to Russia's next move in the sky. The Checkmate is more than just a fighter jet. It's a message, a challenge, and perhaps a warning. In the chessboard of global air power, Russia has made its next move. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Su-75 Checkmate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because the world of military aviation is just getting started.